Well, hello, Goofy Goobers. How you doing today? Hope your day's going well. So yesterday I got back from Dubai and I know I didn't vlog it. And I'm sorry, guys, to the people that asked me if I'm vlogging. But I'm back home now. I'm gonna vlog this week. We're doing a weekly vlog. I'm going to London today um, to go to a cabaret show. Um, really, really random, but I'm going with my friend Izzy because she likes that kind of stuff. Um, because I got asked if I wanted to go. I got two free tickets and I said, do you wanna go to this cabaret show? And she said, yeah, so that's where we're going today. So this is what I'm wearing. I've got this Princess Polly skirt on and then this top from Urban Outfitters and this is from ASOS. I put on my leather jacket and then I've got these shoes, these little heels that I got in Paris from Stradivarius. I think this is going to be the fit because I'm not going to lie, I, all my clothes are dirty right now and this is the only thing that I could think of. And then my coach bag. That is kind of cute, I've got so much stuff in this bag. And I am ready to scout ladies. And also, not gonna lie, my chest hurts a little because I'm gonna be honest with you guys. As soon as you go to a hot country, all you wanna do is have a little smoke. Um, I didn't smoke a cigarette, but I did have a couple tokes of a vape. And I am not a vapor, I'm against vaping. I think it's awful, really bad for you. Don't do it, don't recommend. But as soon as that holiday air, air hits me, I'm like, I need a vape. I need a vape and I need a cocktail. But I didn't have a cocktail because it was Ramadan. <laughs> Good morning guys. So obviously, like you saw from the last clips, I went to the cabaret show and we'll talk about that later. But now it's early in the morning. Well, early for me, it's like nine something. And I'm on my way to my facial consultation. I've been wanting to get a facial for so long. I don't know why that sounds funny to say facial because James makes facial jokes all the time, but um, I'm getting a hydro facial. Don't fucking cheat on me, bitch. I'm trying to give you a facial. <laughs> um, also, my coat is so crusty, but ignore that. Um, but yeah, you're meant to go to the appointment with no makeup on. <clears throat> so I look really ill right now, but hopefully, I don't know if I'm getting the treatment today or not. I'm really confused. I don't. This camera does low-key have a blur effect on it though, so you're not getting the full effect of my skin, but I've got spots all here and here and here and here, and I've got huge fine lines here. I did tell them about it because I want that to be sorted. And when I was in Global Village in Dubai, I bought this Korean skincare, but it literally broke me out and I'm so sad. Like, guys, have you seen the girl on TikTok and she like does this to her skin? And she's like, guys, I have glass skin. And she uses this product and she really recommends it. But when I bought it as well, they said it was for sensitive skin, but it really has broke me out. I think it's because it's an oil. Hi guys. So... It's a lot later in the day now, it's literally six o'clock. But yeah, I haven't even talked to you guys about the cabaret show that I went to. Um, really fun, however, very sexual. And our table was very much at the front and it was a press night. I'm just such an awkward person, right? Like when the show was going on and titties were out and everything, I was like, well, that girl has confidence. Like I was admir admiring the girl. And then I was like, wait, where do I look? Because titties are right there, but like, I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't want to be disrespectful so I was trying not to look at the titties but then they would like put them on fire and all sorts it was like crazy it was really cool I'd recommend a cabaret but then I thought oh my god like because my seat is so like close to the front like are people going to be lo like looking at my reaction because you're meant to be going like woo like clapping and everything but I felt uncomfortable like going woo like Cause like I'm, I, I'm like celebrating someone getting naked. Not that that's a bad thing, but I just felt really uncomfortable because I've never been to anything like that before. You're meant to like clap and cheer. Like every time they take a piece of clothing off, you're meant to be like, whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just didn't know what to do. And then there was this one lady like going round to people saying like moan in the microphone. And I honestly would have, if that happened to me, if that woman put the microphone here and said moan, I would get up and run like also guys when I got back from Dubai I opened the door and I was like no way it's a Gizu parcel I got sent the new uh, lip oils 
yeah honey infused lip oil i've only opened watermelon sugar so cute this is like a clear pinky color mango punch passion and strawberry sorbet maybe i'll wear strawberry sorbet tonight that looks so freaking good Good morning, Goofy Goobers. So it's the next day now. It's currently 10 a.m. and I'm about to go view a flat. Me and James are literally so all over the place with what we're doing. We're not, like I said before, we're not leaving this flat. Like we rent this flat. But in terms of like looking to buy somewhere, I really want to view this flat. Not that I think it's going to happen. It's just more of I want to view it because this building has always caught my eye. And I've been seeing a lot of like properties go up for sale in this building and this one that I've looked at was a lot more than what it is now it's been reduced and I just want to know why because it seems too good to be true and I want to go have a look at it just to get a feel of the building as well because when I am ready to buy somewhere there and something comes up in this building at least then I know um that the building is actually like nice <laughs> trying to show you guys my skin but the moisturizer they put on me is so sticky my hair keeps sticking to my skin but um just came out skin is looking fresh i mean you can definitely still see my pores so don't really know what that's about obviously they're not going to disappear after one session but like i was kind of hoping they would but i mean my favorite protein bar right now oh my god Hi guys, so I'm back home now. I didn't film anything in the clinic because I am just so socially awkward and the thought of just getting my phone out and recording the whole process sounds like torture to me. Um, so I'm showing you my skin here. So this is the, so I look super oily, but it's just the skincare that they put on me. Um, my skin feels really clean. Like she showed me the bottle of all the gunk that came out and I was actually shocked. Um, the thing is, this camera has a blur effect. Oh no, you can see now. So obviously you can still see my pores, but they look a lot cleaner and it actually hurt when she was getting them out on my nose. But I feel like they've definitely been like emptied out, if that makes sense. And here as well, like I feel like here looks a lot better too. Um, but you can obviously still see the pores. Like I don't like that you can see like the dark spots. They look like dark holes and I really don't like that. So I'm hoping my other two sessions will help it disappear. I don't freaking know. I went to Morrison's and I'm going to have some salmon and rice for dinner because I thought it would be easy to eat on my freaking wisdom tooth because it's like soft food. Um, but I'm just going to clean up right now because I'm actually living in a pit and I'm not going to lie, I keep pulling my hair out. I just had to tie it back. Like I've just been sat scrolling on TikTok, sat on the sofa, just yanking, yanking, yanking. Um, and I can't stop. And the only way I'm going to stop is by cleaning up my surroundings and making myself feel like I'm have a spa night, you know, have a shower, get clean because I absolutely stink. Not going to lie. Um, clean my bed because it's just got fake tan all over it. I just need to do a big deep clean. When I live in crustiness, I don't know why, it just makes my hair pulling out. It's like I feel like worthless, but then when I clean my surroundings, I do it less because I feel like clean and like, woo, got my life on track. But as soon as I'm just like living in a pit, I'm like, <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. I've got fucking dishes everywhere. Uh, also got spinach and ricotta, I'm gonna have that tomorrow. That is my addiction at the moment. I can't stop eating spinach and ricotta tortellini. Um, why is the mayo on the floor? Why is salmon so freaking expensive at the moment? This was £5.50. Daylight fucking revelry, I swear to God. <gasps> I'm so excited for Married at First Sight tonight. It's gonna be drama. Bit of Lloyd Grossman. This was also on offer. I love a bit of Lloyd Gross. Uh, 
tomato and chilli. What the fuck is that? I've got washing everywhere. Like nothing, none of this is aesthetic right now. Uh, also, can we just talk about how fucking chaotic this fridge is? Like, I'm past the point of giving a shit. I'm just shoving it all in. Oh, just found this in the fridge. I'm gonna drink this because it's nice and cold. Nice on the old uh, tooth. Guys, it is later on in the day. I've cleaned my room. Well, sort of. I've no longer got shit on the floor. My desk area, look at her. She is looking clean. She's looking decluttered. Excuse that there. Um, this area, I didn't get to. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I'm not gonna lie, I got tired. But, fresh, clean sheets. The bathroom is looking pretty decluttered as well, might I say. And now I've got a tea waiting for me on my bedside. I've got my iPad ready to go and I'm gonna watch Married at First Sight. Also, who likes my mug? It says mentally dating Harry. No lies told. Also got my favorite snack. Honestly, I'm so excited to get into bed. Cotton candy grapes from Morrison's. They are 10. It's Amber Day! I've woken up with a huge fuck off migraine. Um, it's currently 12 o'clock. I had to go back to sleep because I literally woke up and I couldn't even look at my phone. I was like, um, So yeah, I've got some butternut squash and, and coconut soup and some homemade bread here. And I'm hoping this will help me. This is like a proper sick meal, isn't it? And I also just took my antibiotics. I went to the dentist and they told me I have to get my tooth taken out and I'm really scared because that's one of my worst fears, getting a tooth removed because I've never had that done before. Um, so that's happening in two weeks, but for the time being, antibiotics for the infection. Um, but let's try this soup. Pretty good, it's from M&S. So I'm feeling pretty bougie right now. You can't have soup without bread. It just doesn't work that way. But we're gonna go out for drinks after ABBA and Loki feel a bit embarrassed going out dressed in my ABBA attire, my 70s bell bottoms. Um, but I guess if we're all dressed in 70s vibes, then it doesn't really matter. I think people will get the gist, right? I hope people will get the gist. But my outfit hasn't even arrived yet, so but I thought to myself, is it better be smart? Have some food, maybe that'll help the migraine. And then, I never like to leave the house hungry because when I do, I end up spending a lot of money on food. Because, you know, I see a Joe in the Juice or I see a Nando's. Uh, itchy. And I'm like, do you know what? I should treat myself. No, I shouldn't treat myself because I've been treating myself every single fucking day. There is food at home. I watched Made at First Sight last night as well. Guys, if you are not watching Made at First Sight Australia, please watch it. Like... I need someone to talk to about it. Well, I have my sister, me and her, well, we debrief about it because this season is just like no other. Like, even the girls are acting crazy too. The girls and the boys. Where do they find them? Honestly, I don't know if this is rude to say, but it kind of puts me off going to Australia. Like, if I was a single woman, I would not be going to Australia to find a companion because they all seem toxic. They seem so toxic. I'm watching a show right now that I told you guys about called The Tourist with Mr. Fifty Shades of Grey Man in it. And it's based in Australia. And I just think, wow, like Australia looks huge, but like just so much land and space. And it actually scares me because I feel like Australia, like the outback, is the perfect location for a serial killer. But then also not, because I guess there's not a lot of people around, but they, are, they just need one person to drive down and capture and they'll be good to go. What am I saying? What I'm trying to say is, I feel like you could get away with murder there. Like, literally, because there's just nothing around. Like, I know it's a show and it's not real, but, like, surely there's got to be some sort of, like, truth to it. Like, is the outback really just, like, derelict? Because that's scary. And there's roads, though. Like, what if you break down? It's kind of like America. Where in America is it like that? Like near the Grand Canyon or something. There's just nothing there. Guys! My makeup is slaying, not gonna lie. Okay, so we've got a bit of an issue. Um, my outfit still has not arrived. My sister's gonna be here soon. Um, I feel like I want an Aperol spritz right now and I'm gonna try find... I'm pretty sure I've got a bottle of Aperol in the house somewhere. Um, 
but I don't have any ice so I'm gonna have to have it iceless and I don't have any lemonade so maybe I should have to order someone just making dinner right now because it's half five and I'm not gonna get a chance to eat anything and I'm quite hungry so I'm just gonna whoa freaking out I'm just gonna have the remaining half of my spinach and ricotta beautiful nice and easy should probably do the dishes but I really can't be asked oh yeah I was gonna look for Aperol let's look in the podcast room because I'm pretty sure there's a bottle of Aperol <gasps> I see it and I see pink shin <laughs> look at that like a whole bottle as well look at this mess guys behind the scenes of the podcast am i right absolutely delightful guys my outfit arrived finally in time we literally have to leave in two minutes but i wanted to show you our outfits sorry it's literally nearly dark outside and it looks like it's about to rain so the quality is really weird but this is jojo's outfit well, she's gone for double denim look it's not very yet but uh, it is 70s double debon and then the iconic sequin scarf. We need scarf. to bring these into fashion. We actually do. They're so fun to wear. And this is from our childhood. Like my mum, we, we used to always steal this from my mum. She had another one, didn't she? But yeah. Into that one, yeah. But these were iconic back in the day and they need to come back. They do. And then show my outfit. The flares arrived. Oh, the Look fly at is undone. Very nice. The boots. The scarf from ASOS. This is from uh, Super Dress. Super fly. ASOS. We love it. My hair is giving crazy. But it will drop nice. I fucking hope so. Because right I'm now looking. I look a bit like a hot mess. But it's okay. But we need to get an Uber. And we've been drinking our Aperols. I used to hate Aperols. Like genuinely, didn't I? Now I love it. Maybe I think. I need these. Yes. Yes. Yeah guys we've just arrived here no one is dressed up in 70s abba outfits but i tell I'm you so not a soul I went low key <laughs> because now it is paying off because no one but guys if you think i look extra wait until you see melissa's <laughs> outfit like, <laughs> it's what something the else what's going on <laughs> it's blue something. eyeshadow the whole work i'm so hat. glad i did two no, eyeshadow she's got her knitted hat. what is she gonna do no, there's no way. There's oh, actually... this angle's making my head look really wide. But, um, yeah, we're the only ones dressed up. We're also the only people under the age of 30. Uh, but that's absolutely fine. Jojo thought we were going to Abba Voyage. I've only just told her now that that is not the case and it's an orchestra. Yeah, I thought it was an orchestra with the videos. No, it's an orchestra, but there's some of the musicians Hello? from actual Abba. Annabelle's over there. Where is she? She's in a completely normal outfit. She's got her disco trousers on. Though. Oh, has she? Oh, there she is. She got the disco pants on. Wow. Look at the fit and the badge. Get the badge in. Get the badge. 50 years of ABBA. <laughs> Nobody is moving. <laughs> night because I was just got really hungry so we had chili cheese bites and then came home so anxious couldn't go to sleep so I just had to scroll on TikTok for hours finally fell asleep then woke up at like 7 a.m to the birds and I was like I actually it's like a anxiety paralysis like I couldn't move my body so then I was like do you know what let's just go back to sleep so then I woke up and it's now like half 12 and I've made myself some blueberries Greek yogurt and honey and my uh, greens juice. What is this called again? Freaking hell. The, gr the greens that everyone drinks. Got these here. Oh, they're actually nice. Like it actually tastes like mango. Yeah, I'm trying to eat some healthy stuff because right now I don't feel okay. I, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I was drinking on antibiotics. Don't think that's a good idea. Wouldn't recommend. 
Mm, that's nice. Look how good that looks. Like, so healthy, so beautiful. Um, yes, so I've actually got some stuff I need to do today. I need to film a moon pig ad. And I need some. I need to edit some other ads. Ow! Maybe we should go on a walk together, guys. Maybe we should go get coffee or something and try and connect with nature again because I don't know if it's healthy to stay in all day. Although my whole body aches, I don't know what that is, but I feel like I've aged about 50 years. Like, I'm really like, everything hurts. Can someone explain that, please? Because I, I didn't do anything like embarrassing. I don't think I did. I wasn't doing any knee, sl knee sliding. I don't know why. I'm in so much pain. I'm I look disgusting. Like I truly have just woken up. This is what me hungover looks like. Sorry about that, guys. But somehow last night I managed to put on pimple patches. So me drunk still knows her skincare routine. <laughs> Joe and the juice, baby. As you can see, I have not left my bed. I've put some makeup on though, but I have generally been stuck to my bed, and it's it's now two forty, and I haven't moved my bed. The anxiety, she still is, she's not going anywhere. I think the other reason I'm so like anxious is because my body is honestly aching in every crevice, like my neck. Oh my God, it actually hurts to do that. And like my kidneys, my liver, just everything hurts so bad. And I'm thinking, have I done this to myself by drinking all antibiotics? Probably. Um, so I looked up things good to eat for your liver. And it said protein, so I got a spicy tuna cardo. I told myself I wasn't gonna get Uber Eats, I was just gonna go out and get a coffee. Now look at me. So good. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this. Then we actually are gonna go on a walk because I need some fresh air. Even though it hurts to walk, we're gonna try. We're gonna walk at a slow pace. It's freaking hot, they didn't give me a cover. Caramba. I really picked the best time to come to the beach. Can't even sit down because the pebbles are wet. Influencer in the world, I see. Wow, getting that aesthetic shot. I see how it be. I really, I really thought I was going to come to the beach and get to sit down and take in the waves, maybe do a bit of meditation. But honestly, this looks like the most miserable day ever. And it's really weird because it's humid. It's like 16 degrees right now. But it's starting to absolutely chuck it down. And I'm not going to lie, the sea doesn't look very appealing right now. It looks grey. The sky looks grey. Also, my mouth hurts. Uh, my Everything is aching. Why is my mouth aching? Sorry, guys, I'm being really negative right now, but um, that's the vibes right now. But my coffee is sensational. I got a cappuccino with almond milk from Fika. If you guys ever come to Brighton, <coughs> go to Fika. It's down there. Um, and it's just the coffee is just so good it's my favorite it's um it's located in the sea lane so if you just type in sea lanes um on like google maps it'll come up because for some reason it doesn't come up on the map fika because they've got two they've got one in hove and one in brighton seagulls are low-key terrifying also you've got the little train going along there that's about seven pounds per person absolutely extortionate because it literally goes from there to there but um, it is fun. I went on it like two years ago with James. But when I was a kid, we used to go on them um, for like school trips. And it used to be the most exciting thing ever. Also, can I ask someone, where the fuck do these come from? These little things that appear on the beach. They look like a tree trunk. Did someone plant it there or did that come from the sea? Because if it came from the sea, that's actually kind of scary. Don't sit on Brighton Beach with food because they will attack you. One time I had about... 20 chasing me because I had um, itsu and since then I'm very very cautious um what the fuck how is that guy just chilling oh are they doing parkour what the hell right I think I'm over this now I've done my deed for the day which was getting outdoors having my coffee now I'm gonna go home if it was sunny I would have probably sat here maybe even d listen to an audio book or something i was really really um prepared to have a bit of like mental wellness but this weather is not the vibe <laughs>